I earn a bees. Happy Canada Day. Woo! <laughs> For those of you in Canada, uh, I guess uh, the U.S. is in a couple of days, their Independence Day. Oh, I'm a mess. Um, so, yeah, today's Canada Day. Yay! <laughs> um, I just wanted to hop on and talk to you guys a little bit about a few things. Um, so a, a life update. Uh, I went to the doctor, or didn't go to, I talked to the doctor yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, he took me off the Ozempic. Yay! Then he put me on a generic metformin. Boo! <laughs> Um, so I took my first pill yesterday or last night, so it's a little too early to tell side effects and stuff like that yet. He tells me that I shouldn't have any major side effects. I guess we'll find out. So, uh, put your comments down below. Let me know if you guys have had any experience with this. It's not the actual metformin. It's a generic metformin. Um, I'll put the name of it here. I don't know. He says that there's less side effects with this one than with the actual metformin. So, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Who knows? So, yeah. <clears throat> but I did find out that my A1C or AC, AC1, A1C, is that what it is? Is 7. Is that good or bad? I thought 12 was bad, like bad, bad. I thought seven was okay. Uh, but he says he wants it down to like five. I know nothing about this. I did get a phone call from the diabetic nurse. Uh, I have a Zoom meeting or a class or whatever you call it in July. I got, I have to do two weeks, like a two, two day, uh, class to talk about diabetes and, uh, how to manage your diabetes and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is distracting me. <laughs> so, uh, um, so anyway, um, I, yeah, so that's kind of where that's at. Um, I'm just glad to be off the Ozempic. Uh, but you know what I did? I, I just bought a 100 pack of needles for the metformin. I haven't even opened the box yet. It cost me $40 for this box. <sighs> now I don't know what to do with it. So, yeah. I, I'm, I don't know if there's any any of you in Canada that are on Ozempic um, that could use these. I don't even know if I can put these in the mail, to be honest, because they're needles. So I don't know. Do I get in trouble for something like that? But I would really hate to see them go to waste. They're just going to sit in my bathroom cupboard, you know. So if, I, if there's anybody in Canada... <laughs> that uses Ozempic and needs needles, uh, I can send them, I hope. I might go to jail or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> mm. um, <clears throat> yeah. So, um, what else? Uh, I almost had to give George the Heimlich maneuver the other night. He has this habit that when he's eating steak, he makes the pieces too big and he doesn't chew his food. He's like Bailey. He doesn't chew his food very well. It's like chew, chew, swallow kind of thing. I give him crap for it all the time. He's choked on food quite a few times since I've known him and I get, I yell at him every time, but this time I have my headphones on. I'm watching YouTube 
videos. Um, cause when he's watching the fights or whatever on TV, I don't need to hear about it. So I have my headphones on. I hear him thumping on the floor and I see movement over here and I happen to turn over and he's just like, <coughs> like this, right? I literally chucked my computer <clears throat> and, um, jumped up and he's like, Oh, I got it. I got it. It's okay. And I'm like, what? He's like, whoo. <laughs> like, it, it was, yeah. It, I, I don't even know if I could do the Heimlich on him. This is one thing that really terrifies me because he's such a big guy and all that muscle and everything. I don't even know if I could do the Heimlich. I could barely get my arms around him. And I don't have a lot of strength. To be able to do something like that and it scares the crap out of me i'm thinking if anything was to happen what do i do you know so i thought about talking to um like a ambulance driver or something next time i see one and uh saying like what do i do if this happens because i don't know if i've got the strength george says well i could I could do the Heimlich on myself. It's dangerous, but you know, I could just throw myself up against the kitchen, granite kitchen counter or something. And I'm like, yeah, no, when you're in that frenzied state, he, he's, I'm in the frenzied state. He is usually pretty calm about stuff like that, but when it's happening to you, yeah, no, <clears throat> no. So I don't know. It just scares the hell out of me. <clears throat> and I just, I, at that point, he started cutting up his stuff really small. And I was watching him like a hawk. And he's like, are you going to watch your videos? Or are you going to just watch me? And I said, I'm going to watch you take every bite. You know? And he's like, oh. I says, yeah. So you better take it slow, buddy. <laughs> I want to see at least 10 chews. <laughs> he's just like, oh, for God's sakes. And I was like, don't you mess with me. <laughs> So, yeah, that was pretty scary. <clears throat> but, uh, uh, yeah, um, the movie marquee challenge, full metal jacket. I get a message from Heather saying, I love that movie. I'm like, you do? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so I have to go to Michael's and Walmart and see if I can't pick up the red heart camo yarn <clears throat> i know red heart comfort has the, has camo yarn but i don't think it's very soft anytime i've had comfort um it's not very comforting <laughs> it's do you guys find that it's not a soft yarn um it's it's like the old red heart super saver so, and I think Red Heart Super Saver has camo as well. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to go and check that out and uh, figure out. I'm thinking about using that as an, uh, an accent yarn and then doing either black or um, like a burnt orange. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, maybe. Oh. And it'll, oops everything falls out like me oh it's actually dark way darker than that yeah it's it's like a dark burnt orange that it's coming out like way bright orange way bright yeah not even close um so yeah i'm thinking maybe doing something like this oh i got a tumble of yarn here <laughs> um <clears throat> but i don't know i'll i'll figure it out so, uh, what else? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the Yarnapalooza. Okay. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave the link above of the video that I'm, where I'm talking about it. Um, the Yarnapalooza has been pushed to July 15th is the, the draw date. July 14th, around July 13th, 14th. I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to get their tickets. Okay. 
I will be sending out the ticket numbers on July 14th. Um, so don't worry. You know, um, I, I'm getting a lot of questions saying, you know, I haven't got my numbers where, you know, when are you doing the numbers? It's going to be the day before because I want to make sure that everybody gets a chance to get their tickets in uh, or their payment in for the tickets. Okay. Um, it's $5 for one ticket. $20 for five tickets. My link is down below for the PayPal. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, what else? There's five boxes that are going to be raffled off. I hope. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So as it stands right now, um, there's maybe 10 to 15 people that have bought tickets. Okay. I know there's a lot of people that have been waiting for today for the first, uh, because they get paid then to be able to get their tickets. So that's why I pushed the date was so that everybody would have a chance. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, so get your tickets in and the, yeah, I will be sending out the, um, ticket numbers on the 14th. I had a, a, a <laughs> Sandy Duda and I, uh, Sandy from left is right crochet. We do, um, coffee time sometimes in the morning. And, uh, as soon as I open my eyes in the morning, she's already been up for hours. <laughs> um, I, we grab a cup of coffee and we do a zoom chat and we just chat and chat and chat. And uh, so we did that this morning. It's always nice to do that. She always makes me feel so much better. And uh, you see her smiling face in the morning makes me happy. So, but um, yeah, she missed her, her live yesterday. Um, I won't get into details, but I think she put a post out saying that she wasn't going to be um, on the live. And... Uh, <clears throat> so, but she's, she's making another blanket in black, gray, and it's white. No, it's, I think it's shades of gray and black. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's, she made George, uh, George and I a blanket. Is it two years ago? A year ago, a year and a half ago. And, uh, I use the blanket all the time even in the summertime, like if the windows open, because our house doesn't get really, really hot. Like it does a little bit, but, uh, if we've got our windows open because we're near the ocean, we get like a nice breeze coming through and sometimes it can be a little bit cold. <clears throat> so I just throw that blanket on and George has his blanket on his chair. And so she was saying that the stitch that she did in George's blanket is the same stitch that she's using in this new blanket. And it's such a pretty, it looks like, um, like dime. Yeah, that's triangle, Sandy. It looks like diamonds. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Uh, and it's squishy. Like it's, it's like a 3d stitch, but it's, oh, it's so nice. And it looks really nice in the colors that she's doing now. So she'll probably show it in her next live. Um, She's always doing really nice blankets. Have you noticed that? She's always, she's like, she's like Heather. She's the blanket queen. Uh, so maybe one day I'll actually make a blanket. I made a few a long time ago and then my sister confiscated them. So yeah. Oh. Um, I was on Angela's from my precious yarneries live, uh, talking to her. And then I was on Trish, the part pur 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 purple. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not awake yet. The purple yarn of wars, um, channels. I was on her live and, uh, we were chatting up and stuff like that. And it's really nice. Like every once in a while to just get on a live and pop in and say, hi, you know, um, speaking of lives, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a one hour live, 
uh, segment every week, um, possibly on a Saturday. Um, but tell me what you guys think. Would you be interested in something like that? Because uh, I just feel like, and I talked to Sandy about this, I feel almost like I'm losing a connection with you guys. Um, like doing chat, doing my regular videos and stuff like that is great. But, you know, I want to be able to like really communicate with you guys because when I, I read all of your comments and then I heart them all and every once in a while I make a comment on a comment, but I just, I sometimes feel like I, there's a disconnect and uh, I really want to be able to, like everybody's talking about how, how they love doing lives because they can really talk to people. And I, I want to experience that. I never wanted to do lives before, uh, but I was talking to Angela and she says, you know, once you try that, try to do a live, you're going to really like it. I'm not going to be doing like four hour lives and stuff like that. That's just not me. But to do like a one hour live, I think would be okay because it seems to go pr by pretty quickly. I'm just really worried that when I get on a live, I'm going to not know what to talk about. Um, so if I kind of have a list like Sandy does where I kind of go, okay, check, 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 uh, that might be okay. And I know that when you're in a live, the people in the live kind of keep the conversation going. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. <laughs> but I noticed that on the weekends, either people aren't really on YouTube uh, or, you know, a lot of the YouTubers take the weekend off and don't upload videos. So I'm thinking maybe Saturdays will be a good day. I thought about Sundays, but Sundays aren't going to work for me because when I get into the fall and winter, George starts watching football on Sundays. So I can't have him in the background yelling and hooting and hollering. So I'm thinking maybe on Saturdays, like a Saturday morning or something. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you guys would be interested in? Um, is Saturday a good day for you guys uh like give me your input because um yeah i'm <laughs> i have to try and figure out how to do lives as well angela said that she would kind of help me with that but i don't know if i should use Streamyard or if i should use zoom i know how to use zoom i don't know how to use stream stream yard so that's something i would have to figure out um if StreamYard is something that you guys would be interested in instead of Zoom. So, but uh, yeah, so let me go, let me, okay. <laughs> this is what it would be like on a live. <laughs> Uncut, unedited. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, tell me what you guys think about it and um yeah yeah uh i think it would be fun i really do so okay guys that's about all i have for you today uh just wanted to give you guys kind of an update um and get your feedback because your feedback really helps me and i really enjoy hearing what you guys have to say so hence why i'd like to do lives um, more one-on-one, -on -one, quicker one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I'm going to go and drink more, co more co coffee. More co oh yeah. Okay. I need to go drink more coffee because I'm just like, my brain and my mouth are not connecting. Right. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later for my Canadians. Happy Canada day. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon, okay? I love you all. Bye.